guys welcome back to my channel it's Benita here from Benita Doodles and today I'm going to go very roughly through the process of how I created my owl here with a very very winky eye a bit of a backstory there's a bird of prey center near me called Eagle Heights and I've been there probably about four or five times now and I've loved it every time I go they have some amazing birds there and um, they've got a really really lovely ethos so I really enjoy visiting and watching the displays that they have now we were trying to find out between myself and the guys at Eagle Heights exactly which owl this was because originally we thought it was one called Winston but it turned out that I think the date that I took the photo was actually um, too early for Winston. So I'm not 100% who he is, but we're still going to call him Winston. So at the beginning, I used Pan Pastel, which you probably saw me applying with a different type of tool. And that just helped me get the background in. Normally, I would do the background last, but I felt this time around I wanted to get it down first. Please ignore my phone being in the way. I was trying to get a bit of a process. I try and get process videos for my Instagram account. So you guys can check them out. It's always worth doing a few close-ups, which you don't always get to see when you're doing these. I also use my phone for my reference picture this time as, um, I mean, the office has changed around quite a lot now, actually. So these, you'll see how old these videos are because I've actually done quite a few since these and everything's very different so it pretty much was a case of filling in and blocking first and I'm still getting very much used to pastels and how they work and how many layers you need down before you you know before you feel like you've really got a good solid layer of of pastel down before you can start going in with the nitty-gritty detail and I think that's sort of the biggest learning curve for me. I, I know roughly with colour pencils how far I need to go and how much I need to put on. But pastels are very, very new to me. I'm still, you know, in the learning stages of them. I'm absolutely enjoying them when they don't make me feel sick. But they're really worth doing because I'm having so much fun with them. And they're so much quicker to render up than coloured pencils. I still enjoy colour pencil and I still primarily use them but it's nice to have another another medium under your belt. It's always fun to try new things and I'm always one to encourage my my Patreons and the people that I teach to really go outside your comfort zone and enjoy what you're doing and don't put any pressures on yourself and that's what I've been trying to do when I've been doing the pastel pencils because I think when I end up starting to put too much pressure on, that's when things start to go wrong. It's been an enjoyable learning progress for me. And I think it's something that I am going to take further on. I'd like to get some larger pieces done. I've got a whole list of animals that my Instagram followers have suggested to me. So that should be quite fun. Um, so, yeah, hopefully I shall get on with those as soon as possible. And... Oh, crack on and get some larger bits done especially when I, I don't know whether you've seen them if you do follow me on Instagram uh, but the white tiger that I did for the giveaway winners prize and I, I just so enjoyed it but it was such a tiny size that it was a real challenge I shall be I think I filmed it I can't actually remember if I have I shall be posting that up on my YouTube soon so the tools that I'm using today, as I seem to be waffling on, are Pastel Matte. I cannot remember the name that I used for the colour, but it doesn't really matter because I filled the background in. Um, I'm using the Carbothellos, which are Stabilo, and I'm using the Faber-Castell, which are Pit Pastels. Now I have to say, on this particular paper, I do think that the Carbothellos outperform the Pit Pastels. I find them softer and easier to for the paper to grab the, the pastel from the pencil. Whereas I found with the pit pencils, I, I find them a little bit hard on this paper. Um, I have got a couple of other papers that I want to try them on. And, you know, that's all really down to time. But 
yeah it's uh it should be quite fun if i can get some larger scale pictures done especially with these pencils at the beginning i used pan pastels just limited the colors really wanted a nice deep brown and cloudy effect like we've got a real good depth of field going there so they are the three main tools the pan pastels the pit pastels and the carbothellos the process pretty much was blocking in as i go um, I'm finding it really hard to switch myself off from pencils where you work in smaller areas at one time so I'm still trying to force myself out of that zone and just do something a little bit different so yeah it's um, on the later pictures that I do I do actually blocking a lot more so uh, it saves a bit of time if there's any specific animal that you'd like to see me draw or a specific technique that you'd like me to talk through I'm more than happy to do that for you just pop a comment in the comment section below and I'll have a look and I'll see what I can do what I'll do is I'll stop waffling on now and you can enjoy the rest of the video in peace and we shall see the full out at the end if you did enjoy the video I would love it if you could pop me a thumbs up the old YouTube loves the thumbs up algorithms and if you would like to subscribe hit the bell button to make sure that you get notified when my next video is uploaded to make sure that you don't miss out. I shall see you on the next video.